Hey everybody. Um, yesterday, I, while I was work, I was able to talk to some co-workers about uh, their first jobs and uh, things in their past. And it was, it was really neat. It was neat to be able to sit there and talk about something really kind of real. Other than, hey, how you doing, this and that, you know, that type of thing. And it was interesting to, to, to realize that you don't always know someone's past. All right? At first glance, you don't know someone's past. You don't know what someone is going through. You don't know. You don't always know what is happening in someone's life, where they have been, where they are going, what's happening. And for us to just make rash judgments and rash decisions, especially as Christians, okay? I'm talking to the Christians right now more so than anyone else. Anyone can learn from this, from this lesson that I have learned, but... You just don't know because that, that conversation about – we actually had a conversation about about uh, previous jobs and what was your first job. And then that led into uh, conversations with a few different people about what they uh, – what went on in their lives, where their life came from, where they – how they grew up, that type of thing. And it just made me – Thinking, I've thought about this before, but it made me think. Wait a minute. Should we just automatically assume that we know someone's, like we know that some, should we automatically treat someone a certain way because of their actions? Yes, hold people accountable. Yes, yes. People have to be held accountable for their actions. But right there in the moment, should we judge someone based off of not knowing what, what happened in the past, not knowing what has happened that day? You know, I don't know what's happened to the waitress who decides to give me bad service. What's going on in her life? You know? Uh, as a Christian, I believe we should still tip really well. <laughs> because you don't know what has happened to that server who's serving you at that restaurant. You don't know what has happened with to that person throughout the day that has uh, treated you badly. That co-worker, perhaps that co-worker who seems really on edge and has treated you a little harshly, um, even very harshly. That person on the street or that person in that, that retail worker, retail worker, if you know me, I'm a retail worker. That retail worker that seems a little overstrung or retail worker, that customer who seems a little... You know, hard <laughs> to talk to. Seems a little arrogant. And, there, uh, you know, some are very arrogant. But we, what I'm saying is, until you talk to someone and really get to know them, we don't know. You don't know what they're going through. And it may be, listen, it may be that you and your smile and your attitude is what God will use. Yes, what God will use to change their day. It may be that that, that may be very true that, that today... That person that you come into contact with, your attitude and your smile and the way you treat them, whether it be at work, whether it be at whatever kind of recreation you do throughout the day, whether it be 
after work at the grocery store, whatever it is. Maybe it is that retail worker. Maybe it is I complain about Walmart so much. But maybe if I walk into Walmart and give a smile to those people and, and, and treat them as human beings ought to be treated, treat them as Christians ought to treat other people human beings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and for his glory maybe that might change their day for the better and maybe they might see Jesus Christ in me it's just, you just never know you never know what someone is going through so I, I challenge you I challenge you today pray up on your way to work if you're already at work pray if you know on your way from work to home if you stop by somewhere you know whatever it is pray up right pray that Christ pray that Christ will change your heart for the day all right if you're a Christian he's already living inside you I mean your heart has changed but pray that he changes your heart for the day so that you can be a witness and so that you can smile to that disgruntled employee, that disgruntled food service worker, that disgruntled fellow customer, that disgruntled family member. Pray so that you can breathe a light into their life and um, I hope that you have a wonderful day uh, whatever day you're watching this but um, you have a wonderful day um, Grace Baptist Church and the rest of Facebook YouTube world have a great day this is what Scott by the way saying have a great day now I'm going to try to turn this off without looking at it kind of crazy. Have a great day.